cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in lld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now so now after strategy design pattern we have next our observer design pattern now as the word says observer basically you are observing something for example you have your favorite youtube channel for example code with rn now let's say we upload a new video and then you get a notification obviously there is one way that you know every second you keep on checking us oh did he upload a video did a uh, new lecture of led is uploaded or not you don't do that right you usually maybe can check once in a day or maybe you know or twice in a day but technically mostly there is a bell icon which is there and if you click that whenever you post any new video you will automatically get notified and this is entirely on the basis of observer design pattern and again there are different kind of notifications let's say if you have opened your chrome notification then you will get notified on web if you have went Let's say only on phone. Then okay on phone. If you have different phones, then maybe you know on the basis of that. So it, it happens like that. So basically, what it says is that one object it can be any one. It tries to notify other object, which is you know the corresponding observer in this case, which are the subscribers for us. And when, obviously, whenever we want. And for YouTube, it's more of whenever the video is posted, whenever any short is posted. So this is. the entire mechanism of observer design pattern now obviously uh, why it is useful because again different parts of our application can stay updated in real time that's one very big case of notification and obviously why only this design pattern and why the name design pattern is named because it makes things loosely coupled and we don't need to have that communication between them we will see that how this is possible and how it happens but this is the entire idea of observer design pattern now as the word itself says observer basically observers are some part of the program which watch what for some action or some change or some subject now it can be anything in this case for our reference we are referring youtube channel for any updates now let's see a traditional approach right in a traditional approach with with a very 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 basic approach it will be constantly ch ch checking for any updates again kind of poly mechanism which you can have again obviously it's very inefficient and waste of resources so you, what you might think is rn what i will do i will subscribe as in like you know i will notify themselves so what you might write up end up writing is you will have a youtube channel in which you will have all the subscribers again here i have taken the name or maybe you can say the id but you can have a youtube subscriber as well as you can see i can have a subscriber as well and that you can also pass in here that's totally totally up to you and again both are perfectly fine both in interview scenarios as well as real world scenarios but again it's mostly recommended to have a youtube subscriber because it's easy to call for individual subscriber and see what identity they have now coming on that let's say you add a subscriber and whenever you upload any new video you are notifying all the subscribers whatever you have now the biggest issue in this code you will see that for every subscriber i am just printing it it means i am just notifying now did you see a very basic issue in this obviously the biggest issue is that we are treating each and every subscribers equally this is not the case right because every subscriber will have their own preference some subscribers will have only subscribed with no bell icon right some who are you know very awesome and want to learn more they will have with bell icon enabled some will have okay on the web as well they will have enabled so like there are different preferences for each subscriber and this is what we have not taken in consideration and that's actually a very big issue and again we can have literally you know thousands or even millions of subscribers maybe one day but it is very inefficient just for that okay you know handling the corresponding individual cases i can handle that which means i can just have the if conditions here that okay if that a subscriber has a preference of this then do this else do this and then do so i can have that logic here but again the preferences can be a lot and it can be very cumbersome to actually handle that and again the biggest issue is it will have very tight coupling 
any change in the you know maybe in future i bring up a new notification mechanism that now i will have sms also okay let's say i bring up email first i'll have email notification as well because now i know that okay it's growing a lot i want to send email notifications now how will i have to cater it i will have to change this code of youtube channel which is not good right yes that is the thing even if we are adding more kind of notifications it's gonna break it's kind of breaking the open close principle which says it should be open for extension but close for modification i'm kind of modifying the logic which is ah, painful okay how can we go about it let's see so we will have a simple thing let's say you know a simple method which end up uh, which 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 will end up having a send email notification again it will send the email notification but again this ties back to the same thing i am making code a bit modular which means you know i am making code okay like keeping it separate but still i will have to add those conditions here in this code that individual subscriber needs what kind of thing and you know all the mechanism or all the preferences of each individual subscriber which i have which i want to notify i am sending bluntly as email not email notification here but that might not be the case so obviously we will have some repeating logic which we kind of corrected but it is very hard to maintain especially for more notification types whichever we have and this thing will keep on getting bloated as we have more or you know especially in trading systems where you have very high uh, very low latency trading systems you have to literally not notify multiple people on multiple devices at the same time so obviously you can't even have concurrency at, at that point in time so again there are multiple things which can actually come up which uh, you know uh, can actually if impact you so how to go about it we will take a observer interface now observer is any kind of a thing any kind of thing which observes now we call us as subscriber now subscriber we will subscriber will have simply an update okay as soon as something happens i will simply update now what will happen we have a concrete observer it can be a youtube subscriber who have that bell icon enabled enabled right it can be any uh, it can be an sms or a email subscriber as well right now what what happens in this basically we are saying that subscriber it can be a email subscriber and again one subscriber can be email subscriber as well as well as a youtube push notification subscriber imagine this as same youtube imagine it as youtube or push notification imagine it as same you can have sms you can have email subscriber you can have multiple such subscribers the catch here is that now whenever i call a update function i know this update is specifically for email so i will be sending an email so if i have a subscriber aryan i will make you know aryan email subscriber and then i can make aryan youtube subscriber so if aryan has a preference of email okay i'll make one instance of it if aryan has a uh, preference of youtube i'll make one again although for the same problem there are multiple ways to approach it right you can think of it as in strategy ways as well but i'm telling you a very you know most intuitive way to approach the same problem which can actually more extensible in terms of how i can have it now what will happen as you can see the moment we go down again uh, as you can see i have a push notification as well but again the same goes logic for youtube as well because youtube technically have its own push notification you can imagine it it like that but yeah you can have email sms uh, multiple stuff now comes to the fact that we have a youtube channel obviously in a youtube channel we will add some subscribers we will remove it and then we will have to notify them but because what we have done is that you know your actual youtube channel implementation will have a list of subscribers you see now i have subscribers now these can be a you know a push notification subscriber push notification subscriber it can be a email subscriber it can be a sms subscriber so now i have the corresponding preference in the subscriber itself so when obviously there's a very basic case of adding or removing a subscriber that's perfectly fine but whenever i upload a new video i'll simply call notify subscriber which will simply go here iterate on the existing subscriber and simply call okay update update you can, you can also replace this with notify so now what will happen is each individual subscriber which i have which will have the automatic preference enabled to it then in that specific preference let's say if it's a email subscriber so it will simply go call email subscribers dot 
and simply notify with this video. Thus, I will have that email logic again, a SNTV server, which will be entirely enabled in this email subscriber implementation. You see, everything is abstracted out in this email subscriber. So I can go back and say that, you know, corresponding, let's say email subscriber, I have the entire, you know, implementation of, you know, uh, making a corresponding SMTP server. And then um, again, like, like multiple things, like not as a SMTP server, but yeah, you got the idea, right? Uh, it, it can be SMS as well. It can be like multiple things, which I can actually make the person subscribe to. And with that, what will happen? that we are able to get a logic out and whenever in future I am adding any new kind of subscriber or any new kind of notification here, I will never have to change this piece of code. Never. And neither I will have to change any existing piece of code. Let's say I will never have to change my push notification as well. No. Again, obviously the logic changes of how I am push notifying because you see that uh, push notification depends upon interval that okay. Uh, maybe you know uh, like for the people who are not watching that much then no, then maybe notify them after five minutes for the people who are watching maybe don't notify after 15 minutes and so on and so forth so with that in mind okay the logic if changes i can have that individual logic here but yeah that's that's the entire catch for it now let's see the implementation main class how it will look like obviously my youtube channel implementation will have this channel then i will have alice alice is a youtube subscriber and again i can have alice email subscriber as well now you might think Aryan, can i actually uh, have a simple subscriber then uh, you know like obviously i will have a simple subscriber and then i like right now you are having alice as youtube alice will also have its corresponding you know like he currently this is alice youtube then i can have alice sms then i can have alice email so i can have multiple such things which i can simply again correspondingly define its instance and when it is defined, simply pass it to the subscriber. Adding that, okay, now this is a corresponding subscriber of a specific type. Alice here is a YouTube subscriber. Alice SMS can be a Alice SMS subscriber and so on and so forth. And with that, whenever I call channels upload, so whatever subscribers I have subscribed to, they will simply be updated because this upload a new video will simply go up upload new video will firstly upload the video and then notify all the subscribers which I have set previously, which means I'll come here, I'll iterate on all the subscribers, which can be literally anything and then call their individual notify functions. Now in future, let's say if I'm adding any new subscriber, I simply have to come down and say, okay, any new implementation will come here, will come up here. Nothing changed here, nothing changed here, nothing changed here, nothing changed here. So any implementation will simply come up here and the main in the main or maybe, you know, any of the driver caller function, I can have a simple call which can come up and uh, uh, just say, okay, just implement the specific subscriber and then pass that thing into my list of subscribers and I would be good to go. And with that, you are good with the observer design pattern. So observer simply what it says, it says, okay, I'll decouple things. And I will not want you to actually go into the coupling of each other interdependency inter and obviously uh, promoting open close principle. And whenever things are extensible, it becomes flexible as well and scalable, obviously. And again, it's very easy to maintain because the individual components can be tested and all that. Obviously, some real life cases, as we saw, notification system very much highly used in social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everyone like literally uses this. As I mentioned, stock market alerts, uh, real time alerts I need to have. I need to have SMS, I need to have email, I need to have push notifications. So in that sense also, it is very highly used in terms of, uh, you know, stock market alerts. With the app also, uh, we get some alerts if the, you know, uh, daily weather goes very bad, then you can get some worse alerts. So wherever you are getting alerts, not being notified, you can simply see that you are kind of using observer design pattern. Now, uh, some of the final thoughts on it. Obviously, this makes code decoupled, modular and scalable, which obviously you saw the examples can be notification system, it can be any, any social media notification system, stock markets, or maybe any of the real life uh, useful apps which we use, for example, weather apps or maybe news apps, all that stuff. Again, the best part is it keeps everything up to date, which means that I will have a corresponding notifier, which, which, which will be called. And again, will be called only in the way that if someone has a preference of push notification, then okay, that only will be called. If someone has a preference of SMS, then only that will be called. So that is how it is very, very loosely coupled 
and not even like you know i could like i'm not even doing something that sort that okay uh, that a subscriber can have you know what if again there are multiple ways to go about it you might think of rn i can have a individual subscriber and i can maintain its corresponding preference that he has this 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 you may me uh, uh, he I, I, let's say in my in my website i have multiple options sms email push or you know uh, uh, maybe again uh, customized push or like you know so on and so forth then if you might think rn i can maintain okay if this specific person has email or push then i will iterate on it and see okay for this specific person what are all the preferences you you can also go about this but again when you can individually make them uh, make them and just call for them that's also perfectly fine and that's more cleaner and modular way to write the same thing now ultimately uh, just getting you know rid of that dependencies and making your more maintainable and scalable code cool i hope you guys liked it uh, let's make sure that we hit the like target of 250 likes and see you next video then goodbye take care